Hey everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. Um, I'm tying something a really simple but very effective fly. Uh, it's Sawyer's Killer Bug. It's a good um, crane fly larva imitation. Could be a generic scud. Uh, doesn't really imitate anything in particular. But it's very, very effective. Now, <clears throat> I'm tying this in a size 12, but you can tie them 16s up to about a 10, or even bigger if you've got big crane fly larvae. So this is a Tiemco 3769, right? but any sort of standard shank wet fly hook will do it. And what I'm using for thread is ultra wire and extra small. This is copper. And I'm just going to run on some thread, or some wire. But be careful not to break your wire, it's, it's very easy to break this. Um, so make sure your bobbin's nice and loose. You should break off the end. Now because this is wire on wire as opposed to look, a standard thread, I'm going to just take a, a little bit of super glue and dab it on there. And this just helps give it a bit of grip. So, and it makes the fly a bit more robust. So just run some thread up, up and down, build up a small taper towards the head, sort of buggy shape, and then we'll go around to just sort of the start of the bend. Touch that with your finger just to take away the the uh, <coughs> any wet glue. Now the original, as you probably know, the original color bag was tied with uh, Chodwick's um, yarn. That's no longer available. Right? But there are a few alternatives, and I'm using this from Semperfly. Chodwick's which 477 subs. It's reasonably good. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's very good. It's quite quite close. It's, uh, it's as close as I've seen to the original. Now this is a um, a three ply material, and I'm only going to use two. So you need to strip one of them out. But save that because you can use it if you're tying a smaller fly, or you can double it over. So I'm just going to catch the yarn and the length of the body, run the thread back. You don't need to be too neat, and leave the wire hanging at the bend. And then we're just going to wind forward, keep it quite tight. Right up to the eye, and then come back on ourselves. When we get to the back, three turns is plenty to hold. Come in close and the probably at that waist end. I'll do another flight. And then just carefully whip finish at the back here. I prefer to use my fingers than the tool for the wire. I've actually snapped that wire there at the bobbin, but it's alright. And then just bend and break it off. Nice and snug. And then I've left a wee tag, I'll just, just come in and trim it. I mean, it makes no difference from a fishing fly point of view, but but it's nice if it's neat. So I'll just position it at an angle in the vise and I'll take some head cement and I'll give it quite a, 
a liberal coating just in the wire. It's quite a big bead there. Just let it sort of run around and I'll just leave that like that. Right. That will the vi the varnish will shrink as it dries. But there you have it, that's Sawyer's killer bug. It doesn't look much. It does not look like much, but it is an absolute killer. Right? It's very, very effective. I would strong if you fish nymphs for trout grailing, I would strongly encourage you to tie some of these. Especially you know, especially now as the sub substitutes are available. They are so good. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was instructive. I hope you've found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you if you did. And uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.